let's take at least a good 20 million people in this country if they don't have anything to eat you know, when they go home they think that the country is going down the drain now this is what what is being prompted uh, you know fuel through avenues like social media and all their interested parties who want to milk this situation and they're doing this now what what I, I concur with what uh, Mr. Rohan Fernandez said with regard to you know massive gap in communicating and and the policies are taken based on I don't know who uh, what do you think so I think uh, so there is a crisis now because we don't have adequate reserves when it, it's not adequate reserves to pay certain bills so that's uh, formed I think they have adequate reserves in some way to pay for two months but because of the control in exchange it's not being released so you're having an artificial shortage in yeah, terms yeah, of uh, yeah. we can't procure we can't manufacture so that's one um, so if you let that go what's the impact cost of living is going to go up but that's a bullet we have to bite right that's one aspect second aspect is you can't uh, con you you can have a, a negative list in the short term saying non essentials do not import which is true we are consuming unwanted stuff and luxurious stuff you can leave those but essentials have to be there it should be accessible remove those price controls like for milk gas for pharma but keep it as non profiteering so you have reasonable have a mechanism for that you can't tell i fix it at a rupee price and to whatever happens in the dollar you you continue and service and the, the, and what happens from the gray market people need it what did you see from during covid and that uh, famous in injection when it was not available you had it from price range of 200 1000 1 million, one million. Yeah. so you yeah. you need to act and people should understand these are bullets and i think corporates and government together have to have a social obligation to solve that problem but fundamentally why did we come to this place because our exports are not enough mm. the basket hasn't changed fdis are not coming in so fdis i think uh, the current doi chairman is is uh, is advocating but what would they look at when they come in they have to see um, they want an investment climate they need to be able to put in money and take it out when they want to you see the stock market last week you found the institutional investors going out because they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to take the money out when they wanted to so you should allow a free they should feel comfortable investing here you should have the freedom to i think the, the ease of doing business long term we have to work at getting this economy going and growing that otherwise you are not going to change the shift between import and export and our gdp growth the, the both want them